Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Shovel, and I am here in Modern Warfare 3, and this is, if not my best game ever, gonna be really darn close, because I get a Moab here, and not using support, not using specialist, but using assault. And I've only gotten about maybe three of these, and this was probably the most interesting one. Now, I will admit, I do use FMGs, I do camp, like right here, but overall, I'm still pretty proud of it. I know I probably shouldn't be, because, you know, probably most people can get a Moab, you know, camping and using things like that. But regardless, it is one of the only Moabs that I've gotten that doesn't have specialist or support on it. And I've actually, I think I've only gotten about five or six with specialist, too. So specialist is almost as rare for me as assault is. But gameplay aside, I do have a topic for this video, and it is Black Ops 2. Now, Black Ops 2 is coming out fairly soon, and to be honest, I know a lot of people are, you know, really excited about all the changes and, you know, having something a little bit different. I don't know really how I feel about that, because I actually, I never played the first Black Ops, to be honest. It just did not work on my computer. I tried really hard to get it to work, but it just would not, no matter what I do. So, I just ended up having to, you know, write it off, and I played Modern Warfare 2 for, like, another year. So, that's why I was so excited for Modern Warfare 3 and having something new and fresh to play. I will not let this one get away from me. I will definitely play Black Ops 2. I will be doing content on my channel involving it. Again, probably not a ton until at least Christmas time when I have more time to make videos. But just to talk a little bit about Call of Duty in, in general for me, I only actually started playing Call of Duty about three years ago when I played Modern Warfare 2. That was the very first Call of Duty game I ever played, and I guess because of that my view is a little bit skewed of what they're doing, because I know they're making a lot of big changes, you know, instead of kill streaks, there's going to be score streaks, the class setup is going to be a lot different. I haven't really followed a ton on what's going on, so I don't really know too, too much, but I do know at least a few things. And I don't know if I'm excited for it or not. I guess because I haven't played Call of Duty for as long as most people have, I'm probably a little bit more happy, I guess would be a good way of putting it, with what's been going on lately, because I haven't gotten bored with it yet, the way a lot of people have. Although it will still be nice to have something a little bit different, because I will agree that, you know, not everything's been very balanced in Modern Warfare 3, and definitely the spawn system is pretty much terrible. But... Overall, it's been a fun game. I've personally enjoyed it, and maybe that's because I didn't play Black Ops, but I find something funny always happens, or at least from the Call of Duty releases that I've seen. Everybody complained about Modern Warfare 2 until Black Ops came out, and then all of a sudden it's like people loved Modern Warfare 2, and people all of a sudden were oh, saying, you know, oh, Black Ops is going to be the end of the franchise, and it's it was such a bad game, and then when Modern Warfare 3 came out, people just seem to hate Modern Warfare 3, say it was unbalanced, you know, there were so many things wrong with the game, and all of a sudden Black Ops became like the best Call of Duty out there, and people loved it. Now, I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe Call of Duties are getting worse, I haven't been along for that long in it. I know I've heard that Call of Duty 4 was like the best Call of Duty ever, unfortunately I never had the pleasure of playing it. But the point of all this is that because I haven't been in Call of Duty for as long as most people, I think I still I find Call of Duty a little bit more refreshing than a lot of people because it's still new. It's not something that, oh, you know, I've been playing the same game for six or seven years or however many years Call of Duty's been out. For me, it's been, oh, you know, I've been doing this on and off for about three years now, and I'm still pretty pleased with it. So I am a little bit nervous about some of the things that they're adding. I've seen something about scopes that can see through walls and that, and it's supposed to be anti-camping, but sometimes I worry a little bit but that they're going to be working so much on preventing camping that they're going to make it not so much of a fun game, because, yes, I mean, in things like this, it would probably be better if I didn't camp like the way I am in this video, but even when I am playing normally, not going for Moabs, not messing around or anything, I do occasionally, you know, there are times where stopping to reload and going into a corner for cover, or if you see someone like I'm watching on my portable radar here, seeing someone there, 
if I hadn't been standing there for so long, I wouldn't have considered that camping. To see someone coming there and to just quickly stop, wait for them to walk in front of you, rather than rush in and have a chance at dying. And camping in general is a big problem, I do agree with that, but I do worry that they're going to make it basically only for people that rush. I don't know very many people that can rush 24-7 and always do good. I think most people are going to get frustrated if that's the only way that they can play. So I think I am a little bit nervous about it, but overall I am still very excited. And I will definitely be playing it, and it will be probably making up the majority of my content for a while, at least until all the hype dies down about it. I have not pre-ordered it yet either, so I will either have to do that soon, or I might just wait and buy it on the day. I will hopefully be able to put out a video on the day of release, because a big release like that might give me a chance to build up my channel a little bit. I know every time a Call of Duty is released, there's always that chance for people to build up and go crazy because people are looking for content. And what I did with Modern Warfare 3 with the Moab guide and talking a little bit about the maps, I do plan to do again in Black Ops 2 and start maybe like a tips guide or something. I don't claim to be amazing at Call of Duty, but I am not bad at the game. So I do think there are a lot of people that could still, you know, pick up some tips from me. I don't, I would never claim to, you know, know a ton about Call of Duty and know more than most people, but I do do fairly good in most Call of Duty matches, so I do think if people would like, I will do a series like that again, maybe go over some guns that I like, maybe talk about maps and that. Of course, once I'm comfortable with it, because I don't want to put up videos before I'm comfortable with the game, but that is something that I'm planning on doing. And just to talk a little bit about this game, because it is getting closer to the end, at this point, I am kind of done calling in my killstreaks because I don't want to create more tags for people to pick up, because this at this time, I had never gotten an Assault Moab before. So I was trying to prevent anyone from picking up tags because there was only 11 tags left to be picked up for our side for us to win. The other team was not doing so well, and I get that guy there. That was probably a pretty close thing because he could have just as easily knifed me when I ran in there like that. But I am very close here, and this was a very exciting moment for me, because I had never gotten an Assault Moab before. And personally, about Call of Duty and things like that, I think that the biggest thing that they could do to prevent camping is remove things like the Moab, the Nuke, as much fun as they are to go for and as entertaining as they are to see. I think the big problem is that it forces people to kind of camp and try for those so much, and the more frustrated you get, the more reserved you play and you end up camping more and more and I find that I do it too if I'm out there for a Moab I will start off by playing really aggressively and by the end of the night if I haven't gotten one I end up just hardcore camping and I think that would probably do the most to remove big 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 kill streaks like that that is just my opinion of course though I'm sure there are a lot of things that are better than that that I could do to change it but I guess in closing here very excited for Black Ops 2, despite a little bit of nerves. And that guy got a huge triple kill there. But a little bit of nerves about, you know, what exactly they're going to change. Hoping they don't change too much, because I do love Call of Duty the way it is. There's a certain smoothness to the play. Something that I don't feel that I get a lot in a lot of other games. So I am very much looking forward to it, and you guys can look forward to some coverage of it. But thank you very much for watching. This video is pretty much done, and I will see you guys next time.